podcast. What's up, my producer friends? I'm David with AnotherMonsterProductions.com. ImageLine just released FL Studio 25, and after a long break, I'm finally back with a new video where I want to go over some of the cool new features, as well as talk about the new AI feature, which is called Gopher, which is basically ChatGPT within FL Studio, which can be actually extremely useful uh, for a lot of different reasons, which we'll explore in the video. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so in order to experiment with this new AI feature, we need to hit F1, which will bring up the FL Studio manual. And it should pop up here inside FL Studio. If it doesn't, if it opens in a web browser instead, then you need to go up to options, go to general settings, and scroll all the way down to the bottom here, uh, down here where it says show help in a panel, make sure this is highlighted. And then when you hit F1, it will pop up here inside FL Studio. So Gopher is the name of this AI plugin. If we click it, we can ask it any sort of questions. And actually, let's just go ahead and experiment with this. Uh, another key feature that they added within FL Studio 25 is now you can pin this. So if I hit this button here, I can pin it. And that means that I can like do stuff within FL Studio and this won't go away, which is pretty handy. So I can ask it a question. Let's just ask it, um, what new features are available in FL Studio 25? Okay, so it is generating some information for us. Well, here's the general updates. Then this is the mixer, the browser, playlist. And this is actually a pretty cool feature, which I've experimented with a little bit. Um, it has a D verb now where you can actually get rid of reverb inside of like inside Edison, which we'll, we'll cover in that in a second. So this is probably the big one that everyone is most excited about, the audio clip properties. We'll explore this as well, but basically you can edit things per clip as opposed to having to make it unique now, which is kind of cool. So when I first saw this tool, my initial thought was, oh, this is great because I teach private lessons and there's a lot of instances where my lesson students will have certain settings where their computer is just set up differently. And like, I'm trying to like figure out, you know, how to adjust the setting or something. And I don't necessarily know off the top of my head, like what specific setting I need to adjust in order to get rid of it. Uh, the thing that pops into my mind is one of my lesson students has uh, the feature enabled where basically any window that's open, like any plugin or anything, when I go to click something, it doesn't go away like that. So, I mean, this is just an example. Obviously, there are gonna be other instances where you run into things that you may wanna fix. But in this example, I can ask, how do I change the settings in FL Studio so that the plugin windows go away when I click on something else. To make plugin windows in FL Studio automatically close or hide when you open another plugin, click elsewhere. You can use the auto select linked modules option. Try the following. Okay, so and keep in mind, I've got this highlighted. So now I can just go directly into options, general settings, and I can follow the instructions. So go to general settings, um, find miscellaneous section. So that's here. And then enable auto select linked modules. So that's this here. So you can see on mine, it's already on, but in this case on his, I would wanna turn that on so that I could do that easily. So, you know, unless you just happen to know every single setting within FL Studio, which I doubt any of you do, this is extremely helpful when you run into like a weird issue. Some other ways you can use this is by asking it to come up with potential chord progressions. I mean, obviously you could Google this stuff too. It's just kind of handy to have this all inside FL Studio and experimenting with AI is fun anyway. So I'm sure there's tons of other ways you guys can experiment with this and have fun with it. But for example, let's just say, uh, come up with a really emotional um, chord progression for a house track, please. <laughs> okay, so we're generating, let's see what this says. Emotional chord progressions are a great way to give your whatever, blah, blah, blah. So here's some options here. Um, this is a very popular emotional progression. So this is a A minor, F major. So we'll start with this one. Um, so this is in key of C major. Uh, so what we can do here is I can just copy paste this over. If we go into our piano roll, 
um, we can load up the generate core progression tool and then I can just put this in here, click that. Okay, so we just generated this specific chord progression that it gave us. Let's see if it sounds any good. So pretty fun. So another AI feature that they've added in FL Studio 2025 is you can now generate a bunch of loops and like create a track in two seconds. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I feel about this feature, but if you click this here on the channel rack, just click this, it's basically going to generate some loops for you straight from FL, FL Cloud. And then you can click these to generate different ones. So let's take a listen. So basically, we don't even really need producers anymore. So this just reminds me of the debate of whether or not using loops is cheating. <laughs> this takes it to a whole new level. I guess I could see where this tool is useful just to kind of audition a bunch of stuff and like generate some ideas on the fly and like, you know, whatever. But I don't know. I'm definitely kind of on the fence about this one. Okay, so let's say that you have a vocal that you like. You And for whatever reason, you're only able to get a wet version of it with reverb on it. So what you want to do is you can drag this in. Uh, we'll just put it down here in our vocal. And um, I'm going to go ahead and right click this and then edit in audio editor. So this will bring up Edison. And now we can go into our options, our tools, and we can go to Dverb. So if we click this, it'll take a little while. Well, actually, we want to select voice. Click OK. So this can be pretty useful in certain circumstances. OK, so let's hear the original first. You better fight for me. OK, let's hear the you process. Better fight for me. OK, that actually did a pretty good job. OK, so let's experiment with some of these other features. Uh, we'll bring in this drum loop. So now I should be able to basically create. Oops create just a section of this and I can process just this section without making it unique. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So the last thing I want to briefly mention is that there's a new plugin called Emphasis, which is a limiter. I haven't had a chance to mess with it yet, but I'm interested to see kind of what it outputs. From my understanding, this only comes with the all plugins bundle. So unless you have that version of FL Studio, you won't even be able to really use it. Uh, well, you will, but it'll just be in demo mode. But I'll um, potentially make a video about this specific plugin later on, depending if people are even interested in that. If you're interested in learning even more features within FL Studio, I made a video a little while ago, this is probably like 10 months ago, about this was a previous release, but it's extremely useful newer features within FL Studio that are really important to know. And I definitely recommend you checking out if you're trying to get the most out of FL Studio. So be sure to check out that video and I'll see you in the next video.